Hello and welcome to a special edition of That Peter Crouch Podcast. Uh, it's currently being supported by m for an absolute massive announcement. <laughs> is, yeah. I, by the way, I think this is just all totally fair because um, we've, we've done something, one of the most ridiculous things we've ever done on this podcast. Um, and we kind of wanted to do a little podcast about it to give thanks to the people that have helped make it happen. It's only fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so how do you is. begin with this? Well, I, you know when you said it, Sid, right? Yeah. And we're, we're all sitting around here, just a bit of background here. When you said it, did you ever think you'd be sitting here doing an, with m s involved? I mean, look, I've said three words before that sent me to my bedroom when I was younger, like probably many a time. So who would have thought three words would have got us to a premiere at Leicester Square? <laughs> doing no, you missed Christmas. it it was last night it was, I, I have to say it was absolutely unbelievable obviously you know m s do huge um, adverts for mainly for, for Christmas obviously they're iconic and uh, it was the release of their advert uh, me, Sids and a few lads we, yeah. you know the producers we went and it was I didn't realise quite how big an occasion it was going to be um, well, we to, be, to be a part of it mm. was, was very special it, like, front row seats reserved yeah, you know, I, I, people standing in the aisles. There was so many people there, and then when it come on and it was show, but literally when you actually go back, because obviously it starts the ad obviously starts with the ending of the pod, doesn't it? So it takes you back to the pod when we done it, mm. and when I watch it back now and I say them words, puddings is massive, <laughs> and your reaction and your so you're, reaction. You're as so well. excited. Hold on, hold on. We've got to stop. We've got to stop. We've got to break this down properly. Because we're saying a lot of stuff here because we're very excited. But what we want to tell everyone is basically today is the official announcement of that Peter Crouch podcast, official Christmas advert. <laughs> Puddings is massive. <laughs> and MS have helped make it make it happen. Right then, final word to Sid. Yes, Puddings is massive, guys. Let's go. Back stronger next week. And we're done. Oh, seriously though, what's difficult is players. No Christmas dinner, no presents with the family. Certainly no puddings like this. No Christmas puddings? You can't be missing out on puddings over Christmas. Puddings is massive. What's your pudding, Dad? We are a barbecuing family only, Stephen Sidwell. Do you think the other young footballers are eating pudding? I'm going out. Don't you dare get a pudding, Stephen. I just wanted a pudding. I never get a pudding. Hello, young man. So you're looking at the chocolate melt in the middle pudding. This one's for you. But I haven't got any money. Uh, uh, uh. It's a gift, Sid. How did you know my name was Sid? Is that snow? Sid. 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 Sorry, lads. Puddings is massive. Huge. <laughs> Puddings aren't just massive. Puddings is MLS massive. So yes, there's a lot to unpack, as you can see. Very excited, Sid's here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there was there was a premiere, and mm. I was gutted to miss it. I had a bit of a family issue, mm. which obviously I'm uh, very sad to have missed the premiere of that. But today is the kind of official unveiling of this advert, which started, I guess, when you did usher those words. Puddings is massive on yeah. this podcast. That took yeah. a life of its own. Uh, people were writing it into the back of vans. Uh, toilet walls it was written on it, there, there was people uh, f people are getting printed on shirts and things like that yeah. it it kind of took on a life of its own and how, how did it affect your life Sid? it was crazy Honestly, like, so, like, for, well, social media wise it, I was getting direct messages uh, and tweets of people's desserts and then when it dropped I was in um, Saint-Tropez and I got the menu from the beach club mm. that I was at and I wrote on the bottom of it puddings is massive <laughs> and then that went crazy of this of the, of the puddings menu um, pizza express 
jumped on, didn't they? I think as they well. Did, and then, right. and then it just went mad. And then obviously we've done football punditry at games, at stadiums, and and you've heard it as well, haven't you? When you're with me now, it's, it's like, massive. Mate, it's I'll everywhere. We're all getting it. We were at the Brighton game. It was so funny. Like everywhere we went, it was <laughs> it was puddings is massive. I think what's really cool about this though is obviously you said those words, and then we floated this idea about maybe making a Christmas advert. Except it was just going to be something that we made between ourselves, mm -hmm. and then um, and then listeners start getting involved in this. I remember there was one lad, Elliot, who then voiced up a script of what potentially a Christmas mm -hmm. advert could sound like, and it did give us a little idea. You know, the idea of maybe having, a, you know, a, a young Steve Sidwell desperate for a pudding. Could that be the start of an idea for this? this advert and this is a bonus podcast really to just break down exactly where we're up to now and how ridiculous the whole process has been mm. and pete you're involved with mns right so you yeah. you put the call in yeah so that's right yeah so uh, myself and abby are ambassadors for mns which is obviously very proud to be uh, and then um with regards to this obviously i mentioned it to sherry i think we're going to hear from her in a minute um and, and i can't believe how quickly it kind of went and then i came back in and said believe it or not MNS want to work with us on this. Could, when you told us, I could not believe it. But because this was late on as well, with the, in the season where Christmas ads are, are, are finalised, they're done. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and mate. we was like, we need to act fast. Yeah, mate, companies right. companies spend millions on Christmas <laughs> adverts. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure Sherry will explain everything in a minute. But like, I, I get the sense there's a big rivalry with Christmas adverts. Yeah. You know, and there's a it, and they've got bigger and better, yeah. haven't they? And and the greatest creative minds come get involved in these things. They're planned for months, maybe maybe even years. Mm. Um, filmed with the best people in the world, incredible actors and celebrities that get involved in these Christmas adverts. Mm. And suddenly, very late in the day, we come in with a request to make a puddings is massive. <laughs> Chris's yeah. advert and it's, ha and it's uh, happening it's not disappointed it's not disappointed at all <laughs> right so should we get, should we get Sherry in to explain yes. exactly how you've allowed us to do this <laughs> yes <laughs> right we've got Sherry from uh, from m and and uh, she is the lady that's made this happen um, and I know you've got a lot on your plate obviously you've got you sponsored Wrexham yeah um, you obviously have got the, the, the main Christmas ad with Dawn French uh, Ryan Reynolds well the other Christmas ad the other one well yeah <laughs> when Pete and Abby became uh, m and ambassadors and uh, you know we, we love Abby and we mm. love this podcast and we also love the therapy crouch as well am I allowed to talk about that on yeah, this yeah. podcast? Uh, we love that, yeah, yeah, that. I mean, we, we, we might prepare it just a slight a little bit more no wow. uh, but we just love Abby um, uh, so one of the first things that Pete said when we were filming at their house uh, was oh I've got an idea for the Christmas TV ad but this was literally like a few weeks ago I'm like a little bit late you know, we work on this months in advance. And I said, and we've actually already signed up Don French, Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhenney. And I'm sure Pete is a brilliant, brilliant actor, yeah. but we didn't want to let them down. Mm. <laughs> um, and also we had agreed uh, as part of that, um, because it was going to be Don French, the Christmas fairy. But this time we had, uh, she's walking through the street. She finds, a, a, you know, like a, a lost glove in the snow. You know, you've been walking mm. the streets at Christmas and it's snowing. You see someone's dropped their glove. You're like, that's a shame. Uh, so she finds a mitten. It's joined another one and anyway the voices of the mittens are Rob and Ryan and as part of that we're also sponsoring Wrexham hence my uh, Wrexham scarf today and we're off to Wrexham tomorrow to uh, announce all of that so so Pete has this idea and I thought well we can't just cancel everything else because it's super exciting but Puddings is not just massive for you guys on this podcast Puddings is massive for m and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you've done. Puddings really is, you know, Puddings is m and massive, yes. not just uh, massive on here. And we thought there's just too good an opportunity not to do anything. So Pete said, I'll send through the script. Um, and I thought, oh, I wonder what this is going to be like. You know, because um, I think, wasn't your family in marketing or something? Yeah, my dad, my dad yeah. was in advertising. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah I, thought, but... well, I thought, well, hopefully his dad's written it or something. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, he sent it through. It was us. Was it? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were fully expecting it to be not very good yeah. um, and having to sort of let them down gently. But actually, it was really good. We loved it and we thought, let's just make this happen. And at M&S Food, you know, if we like something, we just go for it and we make it happen right away because uh, it's pretty close to Christmas. And it was right we, away. We've right got, away. We've got to thank you so much for, for supersizing it. And it's, it's too funny that this is all happening. And then you're right, uh, the puddings, I mean, one nice kickback from all of this has been we've been eating great puddings for the last uh, mm, yeah. 
last three, four weeks. So I've never seen Sid so happy. Oh, I've <laughs> I come in with a smile on my face every time. It's great. And the joke you know what the good thing about it was, was the reaction from us when we first, because we recorded us on these cameras watching it for the first time as well. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love and it that. Was special. Yeah, it I mean, was. we had some great fun recording it and filming yeah. it and the outtakes are, I'm sure are going to be hilarious at least. Well, we premiered yeah. it last night so we had this big premiere we took over a cinema in Leicester Square because we were premiering the m and food Christmas TV mm. ad the clothing and home Christmas TV ad you know every member of the media was there it was Celebrity Central mm. um, and we invited uh, Pete and Abby to come. you were there as well yeah. Sid yeah. Um, we invited you all to, uh, to come along and, and it was a very very big deal and, and you know Pete stood up in front of this massive audience and, and talked about it doesn't matter oh, about anything. Highly <laughs> um, what we loved, he said, it doesn't matter about uh, from your mum's perspective, anything he's ever done in football, mm. you know, lots of yeah. trophies and, yeah. you know, goals galore. Mm. Uh, the, the more, the, the, what she's most proud of is when he became an m and food ambassador. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we it's, loved that. Yeah. It's great. Um, and then the we showed the great. ad and the reception was but oh, well, this is what I wanted to talk about. How did the advert go down? Were you oh nervous about it being seen by people for the first time? Were they all on their feet applauding? Well, I was well, nervous about it. I'll be honest. <laughs> Do you know, it what? actually felt it felt as good as everything else that we were presenting there. The reception for the ad was unbelievable. Right. But I think because this podcast is so huge anyway, people know puddings is massive. Yeah. They know the thing. And they just thought, well, it seems like quite a natural thing yeah. because, you know, Pete's now working with M&S that yeah. we should... And because M, for M&S at Christmas... Uh, you know, having a, a treat and having a pudding is massive. Well, we need so to it talk. We should, perfect. we should, you know, this has been a bit of a sort of microwave job, for want of a better phrase, um, in terms of a Christmas advert. It was a bit later in the day. Um, and it's obviously, it's, it's coming out now and people will be able to see it on the socials. We should look towards Easter and the opportunities that that would bring. Because yeah. uh, pod, is massive. Podding is massive as well. As well. Yeah. Podding is massive. Um, podding could be M&S massive if they... <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. It sounds great. Um, so this advert, if people want to see it, if they haven't seen it yet, mm -hmm. where can they see it, Pete? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, all over, everywhere online. On M&S online, I believe. Like, mm -hmm. on all their social channels. On all our social channels. Um, so yeah, get involved. Um, it's a great ad. We're very proud of it. Um, it's all about a young Stephen Sidwell. Um, <laughs> Who really looks like you, by the way. Right. Where'd you get the he? child so from, well. by the way? Mm. <laughs> Must be a long lost relative. I yeah. believe there was a few auditions for that child. Yeah, there was. So, can um, you imagine, right? So can you imagine that child goes on to become one of the biggest actors in the world, right? Which is amazing. every possibility. The next and their Harry first Potter. gig mm. was... <laughs> playing Steve Sid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was and your big was break, good. young young sir? <laughs> <laughs> played Steve Sidwell in the puddings advert. <laughs> he was very, very good. He was good, he was very he good. Was great. Yeah. He was great. We need he, people to share the advert though. That's that's what this this podcast is about. We want people to to obviously enjoy it, but get it out there, pass the pod. Um it's utterly insane that you've picked up this podcast, Sherry, to 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 do this advert <laughs> with. And it's it's so weird because it looks proper. That's the thing. I think yeah. Every other supermarket, every other shop will be looking on, kind of just going, um, oh, wish we'd, they've, wish they've we'd done they've that. Missed out. Yeah, they, they've, they've missed they've, out. Yeah, they've definitely yeah, missed out. Absolutely, missed out. yeah. So I, I thought it was a really sad story that because footballers are playing football, you know, all I, on Christmas Day or Boxing Day, was it Christmas Day or just Boxing Day? We trained day? Christmas Day and then we, yeah. we'd play Boxing Day, we'd play the 28th, we'd play the 1st. It was quite a busy time. You know, because in the UK, M&S food is Christmas and people love coming into the stores and mm. getting their turkey and getting their puddings. And I hadn't actually thought about footballers just not being able to have any puddings. And we just thought it was a really sad story. So we did, we had a little tear in our eye. So we brought you some puddings today. Amazing. It's not I Christmas mean, Day, but puddings look are at massive his little today place. on this <laughs> My eyes are lighting up. This is incredible. So the first one we've got here, this is um, my particular favourite. It's mm. called the Frozen Trifle Caked Alaska. So you'll find mm. it in the freezer right. at M&S. Yeah. And the way I describe it is it's the first trifle that you can slice. So it's custard, it's sponge, it's mallow, it's 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 raspberries. It's absolutely delicious. So it, it's one of them that tastes like a trifle. Um, it eats like a baked Alaska, but looks like a cake. Thank you. Do you know you're sis. saying that like you just have a briefing note right in front of you? It's oh, no, no, he's a connoisseur. No, he, yeah. Each other, uh, he knows everything about pudding. It, I mean, it looks like a, a, a Martino Soleri kind of. Oh, sort of our pastry it? chef. So you oh, know our really? pastry oh, yeah. chef. I, 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 I mean, he's all over. Yeah. I know he knows Besides, his stuff. Who? He knows Scalari. No, Soleri. Soleri. 
Martino, our pastry yes. oh, wow. chef. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's great te- is it? great texture. This. Where does this rank, St- this is, uh, this, Steve? Oh, this has got good texture already. I can feel it. <laughs> well, we've got three desserts for you to try today, so you can pick which one's your favorite. Are we actually doing this as a sort of tasting thing? Great. Yeah. Well, let's, I mean, let's do look that. At, look at this. This. Look at that. Look. Does it slice well? Look at that. It's amazing. Right. It look, good. Yeah. look at that. Look at that. Look slice at the, that well as well. Haven't you? Look at the cross section there. I mean, this is already. The depth in, in that is amazing. You're going full Bake Off now, without realizing. You're like Paul Hollywood. There we are. Handshake. So this is actually in the main M&S Christmas TV ads. This is one of the featured products. It's already available uh, in store in the freezers. Oh, hello. So it looks like there's a bit of raspberry, raspberry yeah. sauce in here. There yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Mm. Look at this. What a podcast, eh? Mm. And is this a new oh, dessert? Right, good. This yeah. is brand new for this year. Brand new for this Brand year. Brand new for so this is year, a, yeah. A trifle. Oh my God, that's amazing. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this anywhere in the world. A frozen oh, wow. trifle cake to last really good. It's a real mashup. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so it's, you eat it, so it's fro. I thought you just meant it's frozen and you defrost it. It's actually... No, you like, actually eat it uh, oh my straight God, from the freezer. Oh, my God. Well, you take it out of the freezer, let it sit for an hour, and then you can eat it. That that's is like shut. a frozen bit in the middle. Yeah, that's what oh, I did. I didn't did realise. Did some for me? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be trying it. <laughs> now, we do have two more to try, so don't oh, be no, no. filling up too much. <gasps> uh, so I think we're getting a big tick for the frozen trifle yeah. cake to Alaska. And um, the next one we've got, so at Christmas time, not when wow. you were playing, obviously, because you were just being super healthy, ready for the game the next day. But everyone would always have a Christmas chocolate Yule log. And of course, we have a chocolate Yule log at m and but we wanted to do something different this year. So we've got the chilled passion fruit and white chocolate Yule log. I mean, do you have anything to say? What have you got on, on that, this Sid? one? Sorry, Anything you've noticed? Is this is this new? This one as well. Yes, this is new for this year. I mean, I mean, can you guess where the chocolate's from, as an example? Um, the chocolate is. Uh, I seem to get a sniff. <laughs> Banbury. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? <laughs> what do you say, Banbury? Don't know. Um, well, I say it's from like a like a Belgian chocolate. Spawn. Oh. oh, he knows his stuff. He knows yeah, his yeah. stuff. Unbelievable. I uh, yeah, I, I, I mean. I, uh, I think maybe team. we have to work with this podcast to help. You can help to develop a pudding mm. for next Christmas. Well, Wouldn't we need to talk to you about crumble actually, and see whether your uh, podcast pudding could sell better than our pudding. I mean, I'm a massive fan of white of white chocolate, uh, especially at Christmas time. I think it just goes hand in hand with the festive spirit. Mm. Well, this is we call this yeah, a, call a, a white Christmas. It's a fresh take on the classic chocolate Yule log, passion fruit and white chocolate. Hand finished <gasps> with Belgian chocolate oh, wow. and decorations. That's great. Keep it? still on the frozen, <laughs> <line>. <laughs> frozen <laughs> Honestly, the frozen one's insane. Isn't it? Oh. Oh, just, it's like knife through butter. Like that. <coughs> look at that. Oh, he's done that before. Look. That, is, that is a man who's. Carved the pudding Done like a pro. Is this just like the best podcast you've ever done? <laughs> it's great. Done? I mean, getting all of this. Bit, dive in? I think a bit out of order for everyone listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but um, but we're having a lovely time. I'm going to go Pete Crouch style. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a Rod Stewart. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, that's not an individual portion. That's a sort of sharing mm. portion. Yeah, that's what Christmas is all about. Yes. And that is very good. Oh, oh, oh. It's the passion oh, it's fruit. really light. Good, we like that one. Lovely. I'm still thinking about the frozen one, mine. Yeah. But that's very good. That's very nice. Mm. And then the last one we've got mm. is a product that actually features in your ad, mm. and that's the melt-in-the-middle chocolate pudding. This is absolutely okay. iconic. We, we sell millions of these. Um, the iconic, you know, you dig in, melt in the middle chocolate pudding. You remember the original M&S food porn ads? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This was this product. Yeah. And it's still going strong today. This is one where you where it cuts and yeah. it just oozes out. Yeah. Let's see Gooey. if it's, it's going to happen. So, I mean, let's all go in together, shall we? Well, no. Well, Sid, you're the connoisseur, I think. You, I feel like you, you, you should enjoy get that it. moment. You enjoy it. Can you recognise this chocolate, Sid? Where this chocolate's from? Uh, I would have said that, again, this is probably somewhere... Like a Belgian chocolate. Spot on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very, thing. very impressive. If it's not broke, you know, it doesn't yeah. need fixing. Mm, very I mean, good. Look, look at that. that. Look, that just, it just oozing out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know where I'd go with whether that would be with custard, with yeah, custard cream, cream, with cream or ice cream. cream. Look at that. Either. So what would you have it with? Uh, All three. Do you know what? I think if it's a chilly night, 
I think it deserves yeah, a little bit of custard. Yeah. I didn't bring but any yeah. custard today. I can, no. I can more than have custard and ice cream with that. Oh, God, that's good. I was my like, kids would love this. This is my favourite. Is it? Mm. It is my favourite. It's a quick microwave as well. If, yeah, it's so handy. It's yeah. good for you now. One oh. of the other ways that we're going to be supporting the... Oh. Because we want millions of people that to watch so your good. Puddings as Massive mm. ad. Mm -hmm. Well, every uh, year for the last two years, one of our store teams, and you met them last mm. night from a store in Romford. Uh, so we call them the Romford Boys. They're they're big on TikTok. They're massive on TikTok. They're I was just about to say, I've heard yeah, that. We're in the song. They, yeah. They've been on Radio 1, actually, yeah. maybe when you were there. I think I played them. Yeah. I think that's where... Yes. So they they because uh, uh, about five hundred of our stores have their own TikTok channel, and some of them are getting millions and millions yeah, of views. True, and yeah. the Romford boys, a couple of years ago, uh, sent me. Uh, they said we've written a Christmas song, Sherry, about all of our M and S products. And I was sort of scared to listen to it in case mm. it was going to be terrible. But I listened to it. I thought this is actually amazing, and it got to number two in the iTunes chart. And yeah. so the last year, and then TikTok themselves actually did a TV ad with the Romford boys in it saying, look, this started on TikTok and now they're in the iTunes chart. And then last year they had a Christmas song again, got to number two in the iTunes chart. And this year we're determined to get them to number one. But they changed when they knew that we were doing this, they changed some of the lyrics at the last minute. And now they have one of the lyrics says, shout out to Crouchy. Sorry, it's just you. But um, shout out to Crouchy, Puddings is Massive. Yeah, so it's well, actually in the Romford Boys song as well. I've, I've, I've done, could we play it? Can we play yeah. it? And you were speaking to Jack I've from the Romford yeah. store who wrote yeah. the song uh, last night. And these are just, you know, people, just colleagues who work in the Romford store, work in the food hall, um, and they just do all of these uh, uh, TikTok videos. He's going <laughs> right in there for more. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> Would you have that on Christmas Day? Would I'd you have it happy? every day. Every day. Pudding is makes, it just a Christmas thing? Oh, well, no, as well. it's, um, we've launched it in, in time for, yeah, for Christmas, tune. but it's in store already. Yeah. So you find it in the freezer. Yeah, it's good. What's what's that one called again? Well, it's the frozen yeah. Alaska. It's the frozen, frozen trifle yeah. cake to Alaska. Cake to Alaska. Get on this show. It's not bad. It's, not, it's good. Yeah, I want to want to hear the shout out. I do. Steve still got the moves and the robots are classic. Table full of food like we're feeding the masses. Shout out to Crouch getting put in this massive. Oh, there it is. That is very good. Love it. Really good. Absolutely love it. I'm sure more than any other Christmas, this Christmas puddings is massive. One hundred percent. Okay, Puddings is massive this year, clearly. Um, what about next year? Should we be looking ahead? How could Puddings be more massive? Would you be open to that discussion? Well, for next Christmas, we're already planning the Christmas ranges for it's next mad, Christmas. That's isn't wow. it? Uh, you know, we're already designing the packaging for the products for next Christmas. So if Puddings is massive becomes even more of a thing, yeah. then we need to talk probably before Christmas. Because wouldn't it be, I think it could be exciting to get you in the kitchen and help us develop a pudding. Oh. And let's see whether you, with all of your expertise, well, that's where I'll be coming whether you could show. develop, uh, a, you know, a pudding that could sell even more than the incredible M&S product development team. Yeah, you know, maybe we could do something like that, but then we have Easter yeah. as well. Because after Christmas, Easter is the next biggest, big family occasion where the family get together, yep. big meal with puddings. We've got the Euros next year. Yeah. Need to think about puddings for the Euros, Euro yeah. puddings. Maybe Ooh, that yeah. could be a bit of a... That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bad idea, is it? Well, we'll be watching this closely. And if you get behind it, and we're going to get behind it, and if people like it, who knows? Who knows? Okay, that's Ooh. very exciting. All right, guys, well, have a look on socials. Um, do your best you can to to sort of pass the pod, share, <laughs> and pass the puddings, maybe on this one. Um, it's mental that we've got this advert. Yeah, Sherry, thanks to you and uh, and m and everyone, everyone there for uh, making our pipe dream a reality, really. Yeah. Uh, it's something that we found very funny, and it's grown legs. People have bought into it. And you've made it happen, so it's uh, incredible. thank you very well, much. We, we love it as well, because Puddings is massive for M&S Yeah, There we are. Yeah. Steve, obviously, final word to you, I think, mate. Well, it can, um, it can only be, um, thank you so much, first of all, but enjoy Christmas, everyone, uh, and enjoy it with your puddings, because puddings is massive. <laughs> Not just any massive, but M&S massive. M&S massive. M&S massive. <laughs> <laughs>